And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. We have a historical rules event on this Sunday. Hope everybody is having a good weekend. This is Server 2. It is a Hatches attack, 82 on the defending CSA, and 89 on the attacking Union. There is no Artie, so let's get in and take a look at these two teams here, starting with the defending CSA. As we see, we have HL here under... Yeah, Mr. Gene like leading. Then we have 13th Georgia under Cawthon. We have the A&V led by Colonel Killer. We've got JB led by Captain Schumacher. And we've got Gamebot leading the other element of A&V, the 6AL. And moving on to the Union team. We have the 5th Corps. Led by Austin AWOL. And we've got 20th Georgia, led by Major Canada. We've got 10th Tennessee, led by Colonel Knight. LFL, led by Colonel Famas. The S is not silent, as I have I have, I have have learned. And then we have two core, led by Zio Panama. And I believe that is everyone. We are live at 40, but keep in mind with this event, there's no bayonets, no sprinting until the 30-minute mark. Uh, so that's going to make life very difficult for that attacking Union team. As you can see, they got to cross a lot of ground. The point of contention is right here. CSA spawn is over here, and Union spawn is down there. Now, the Union, do, Union team does have sharps, as you can see, but they only have two other companies versus the CSA, which has four companies. So we will see how the Union can employ those Sharps and try to get over the uh, potential disadvantage there. Swig of water for the working man, as they say. Stay. I don't know who they is. I've been trying to find them my whole life. But this game is called War of Rights. It is a first-person shooter. Every individual you see is an individual player. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. This event is called the Historical Rules Event, and it happens every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. It is open for signups if you are interested in signing your unit up for it. Uh, there is a link in the description to their Discord. Um, also, there is uh, there are links in the di in the description to all these units, so if you see a unit that you might be interested in joining, go ahead and check them out. And you too can participate in events like these if uh, they are scheduled conforms with uh, your schedule which is usually you know it's it's you want to find a good group of people and you want to find the schedule that works for you i'd say those are the two main criteria uh, when you're trying to choose a unit um you know play style is a big piece too i would say um so you know as you're trying to find a unit you know kind of taking a look at them see what they play when they play how they play and what they play so a lot there but you know try to get you maximum out of it if you're interested in doing these events and if you like uh these videos uh, please feel free to subscribe in the bottom right of your screen right now there's a little button that'll let you subscribe and please uh, if you enjoy it like uh subscribe to the video uh comment on it share it all those fun things i especially enjoy the comments um both in you know how, how you guys found the match how you found what i'm doing what i can improve what worked what didn't um somebody pointed out to me recently uh helpfully that um, i need to do a little bit more steady camera work I get to get a little excited sometimes, and I move the camera around way too much like that. I need to kind of focus in a little bit more to let the action speak for itself. So I'm not saying I fixed that problem, but I am more cognizant of it and trying to uh, address it. And speaking of, I'm going to zoom the camera over here. Looks like we got some initial action on this side here. We've got 10th Tennessee moving up, and then we've got 2 core here, or 6 LA specifically, on this fence line. Now, they can't charge right now, so I imagine this is a distraction force. It looks like these are mostly the Sharps rifles here. Now, I am a, a big critic of having Sharps operate independently. Um, there is a style to it, and maybe they what they were hoping to do is what we're seeing right now, which is massing the rest of their force on a position that they can take. Now, we've got HL here on the... Uh, right, boys, right face, right face. I don't know what I would call this. Um, Masada? It is a deep cut for anybody that knows what Masada refers to. Well, that didn't work out too well for the guys defending Masada, so. And HL has left it and has not uh, 
make it to the same fate as those did in 72 CE? Or was it 74? Uh, I can't remember. Let me know in the comments. When did Masada fall? And we've got uh, Canada has occupied this strong point, and the Union has penetrated into this side of the field. So maybe the use of the sharps over there as a distraction actually worked out. And I might have been wrong, as is often the case here. We will have to see what Mr. John does. Oh, Canada is pursuing him. Interesting. But he doesn't have too many men with him. Looks like they got a little bit spread out. Now they're starting to catch up, but they got a little bit... Uh, Isolated here. And HL is going to continue to retreat, though. Oh, and LFL is advancing as well. Very deep here. I like the aggression by this Union team. Despite not being able to sprint our bayonet, you see they're still able to launch offensive operations uh, to some pretty good effect, at least in seizing terrain. Not too much of a ticket bleed yet, but uh, they are well positioned to do further damage now. Let's check back up over here and see if we have some changes. So now we have 13 Georgia. Major Cawthorn has turned his men to face this new emerging threat. While wow, HL is going to reorganize back over there. They did get their flag out. So good shooting on their part. Uh, they're shifting around to the left, it looks like. I see that. 13th on me, double quick point. 13th, brick loads on map, 13th. 13th, marching southwest. 13th, left face, brick loads on map. Let's go, 13th, let's go. So 13th is going to try to displace to better cover oh, me out of the over game. here. And I think that is a much stronger position and will not as easily be enveloped. I'm going to swing back and check on the action going on over here. As the Sharps are still exchanging a lot of fire with the CSA elements up over here. Here we got the 6th Alabama. On me, Diesel, you stay back. Even if you die, you stay back here. Let's go. Copy that. Gamebot. Gamebot is heading out. Let's see where he's going. Give him hell, boys. Is he going to try to charge out? Well, charge is a generous term at the moment. Because they can only go... I'm turning blast with the face and back six. Let's check out the gunnery skill of the 10th Tennessee here. And it looks like 10th Tennessee was able to weather that attack without too much difficulty. Now you still have a pretty sizable force here under the command of Mr. Keller. He does have a threat down there from 6AL. I'm sorry, from, uh, yeah, 6LA. Not AL, 6LA. Alabama, not Louisiana. Louisiana, not of Alabama. I'm just keeping an eye and see if I see any change down below. You can see how deep down the uh, Union forces are down there. Not even on tickets, I say the CSA is a little ahead. Uh, the Union is, you know, they, they haven't been able to do too much because, again, they can't charge and they can't, well, they can't charge, but it wouldn't really be advisable. So. It looks like there are three Union elements down there. That's interesting. Um, I'll swing over here, but then I'll chase back over that way. This is our rock. Shoot on sight. Nice man is starting to take some hits. No, Masma! No! But we got some support moving up here. I don't know about this attack here from the two core. But surprisingly, Killer is turning back. And he is not going to fight the 6LA who has taken the pressure. I would say has taken the pressure off of um, 10th Tennessee, but they've been finished off. Mando's retreating the wrong way. 
Oh, he didn't see his friendlies over there. So good shooting by the CSA element out there. Special, I think that was JB that was doing a lot of that shooting. Along with, yep, here's JB and 13th Georgia were doing a lot of that shooting. Along with uh, 6A, 6AL over there. Let's turn back over here and see how this developed. Well, now we've got HL. Gene has gotten his men back into the picture here. Where are we facing? I'm just trying to keep watch on him. You can zoom out here and kind of see how this battlefield is developing here. So you have the Sharps kind of fighting out in this sector here, and that has drawn a lot of the CSA attention. The Union has their two infantry units um, in this position over here um, as a potential flanking attack. Uh, we'll see how well they can manage to get that attack, but they have penetrated deep into the forest here, and that once bayonets are live here in another minute, um, we'll see how that changes the equation here. In fact, Gene, I would say, is a little bit too far out for my taste, to be honest with you. I think he's being a little little risky here of getting caught. Uh, he's going to get out of there, though, so he's not going to linger, which was important. And then we have another element that's going to charge forward here, so GameBot is now rotating to fight out on this side. Try to contain the Union down here, but this is going to be the major threat. Again, I think the Sharp should be over here, but, um, say la vie. Stay in the rocks, don't... Now to preview some oh, yeah, units here now. as they're getting their bayonets on. We have here Hampton's Legion here, the HL. They are a pretty sizable unit. They play in a lot of events, both EU and NA. Um, a very active community. If you're looking for an active community... Um, of guys that, that are that are committed to playing, that play in multiple events, have a very sizable unit, but also are very committed to community outside of it. Um, HL it might be a place you want to take a look at. Uh, they have a very active battery, um, which is pretty good. Uh, Nick Snapperkins is in charge of it right now, but if I'm, if I'm wrong about that, uh, please correct me in there. There he is right there, Mr. Snapkins. Uh, they are trying to put together a Sunday NA event. Um, in fact, I think they're having their first meeting about it tonight. Um, if I recall correctly, I can't recall the name of it, which is bad, but it's a, it's a board game style of it. But they play in a lot of events. Uh, UEC, uh, TSA, HTC, HRE, um, many, many, many events. And events I don't cover too. Then, so it's it's a very active, very engaged unit. So if you're looking to to get a unit that that does a lot in this game and outside this game, they are a very active gaming community as well. HL might be a, a unit to take a look at. But enough of that. We got some action going on. At the sprint march, get up there. We have an attack by the A and V into Mr. Knight here, trying to knock him out. I agree with this. You want to close the distance with those sharps and knock them out of the battlefield. You do not want to let them bring. To bear those rapid fire weapons, relatively speaking here. But oh, we got an attack by Fifth Corps. Here comes Austin Awall. And 20th Georgia moving in. And a nice counterattack kind of caught A and V a little bit here. But I don't know, with 13 Georgia there, they might not have enough of it. Oh, but 6LA is coming up to try to help him. Zio Panama. Oh, they're going to be able to get uh, Fifth Corps flag and save them. Good job by their 6 LA. And then, oh, another attack. Here comes the LFL. Under Colonel Famas is going to finish the job here and help control that centerpiece. But we have more CSA here. Let's see what they're going to do. Oh, John orders a charge. And I very much approve of this. You have an opportunity while the Union is a little bit disorganized here if you mass on them to wipe out all of their flags and completely reset the battlefield. You are ahead on tickets right now. Now, my criticism of this is you have elements over here. Oh, I don't agree with keeping guys back there and not aiding HL in this charge. 
And HL is going to pull back because they didn't have enough. I think that was the right decision for them. Um, but I think if they went in with more weight, and I think they had that weight available to mass up, they could have wiped out this element here um, while they were a little bit disorganized. But now that they got their officers back in, they've spawned back in, they can reorganize. Um, now that's going to be more of a problem. Now the CSA is doing all right on tickets. There's still a battle ready at 26 here. But um, we'll see. I won't count them out yet. All right, so we got some movement here. Here comes Colonel Knight. And he's going to try to get back out into his old position here on the rocks to get a little bit other angle of fire going. And I definitely agree. You want to get multiple angles of fire. If the enemy's going to mass up like this, if you can get multiple angles of intersecting fire, that is what you want to try to achieve. Now, 10th Tennessee is another unit. They've been around for a long time, but you might not know because they, they do change their name quite a bit. In the recent months, they've been 8th Georgia, KB, now they're 10th Tennessee. Um, they are another organization that does a lot of events in fact they might they might do the most events besides sr that i cover so you know uec hre tsa hdc i believe they're going to be in this new sunday event i'm not sure they do wednesday bln i'm not positive um, but they do a lot of events you will see them in pubs quite often as well so if you're looking for another highly active unit uh, with a good group of people, in my opinion. Um, take a look at them. I will also say, you're not going to really see it with the Sharps here, but Knight drills his guys, and they can, when they get a hold of you, get you in some very, very deadly volleys. They will get up in your face, a quick volley, and then move again. They are masters of that technique. Again, you're not really seeing it here with the sharps just because it's not really conducive to it. Um, but I will say this is a... Well, to conclude with them, yeah. If you, if you, you know, and Colonel Knight has a very distinctive voice. Um, easy to find on the battlefield. Um, and a very cooperative guy. He, is, he, he will work with units to try to make plans work, which is, I think, the key to a lot of these battles. So if you're looking for that kind of unit, I highly recommend you take a look at 10th Tennessee. But I really like this maneuver here by Killer. You know, when I was talking about getting a, um, you know, kind of getting intersecting fields of fire, look at what the CSA did in response to this. And the Union has been able to punch back and use it as a distraction to get over here. Now, I believe this is H... Oh, this is GamerBot. He's all the way down here. I think he's a little out of position, to be honest with you. I think he needs to be restraining some of these units here. Or he might be in danger of getting wiped here. But look at how the CSA reacted was able to create this cone of fire. Now the key is the Union needs to take advantage of this. And what do I think they need to do? Well, you could do a couple things. You could try to find this unit, but I think that's a waste of time. Or you could try to roll up this flank here. And I think that's really what the Union should do right now, is try to roll up this flank here and just roll right on up and attack from this direction here. Cut them off from their lock, from their line of communication. Um... We'll see if that's what they do. They're being a little bit too passive for my like, to be honest with you. We'll see if they change their mind on this. And especially with Famas. Famas is one of those very dynamic characters here. Austin AWOL I haven't seen, so I don't really know his leadership style too much. Oh, but here comes an attack. I uh, 6 LA, so maybe Famas was right to wait here and to get some nice tickets. So I think Famas knew better than I did in this case. But still, I would say once you've taken this JB element out, you know, they've thinned out. Go and hit them. Um, you can see that now A and V has been cut loose here and is now moving up. This line, a I'm pulling up with Bucking Bull, boys. This line, go that line, this line. Take aim at the corn. And this is a good move by A and V, but it's vulnerable. Again, if the, C if the Union can mass and kind of cut them off, 
Jamie got caught right. This is a horrible place for AMV to be if they get cut off and don't have a route of retreat. So we will see if that happens. We do have a small element down here. I bet this is 10th Tennessee it is. Along with 20th Georgia, Canada's here as well. Ah, yep, A&V's getting out of there. Killer knows not to stay there. A&V knows. So A&V has moved to deal with this position on their flank very well. But Canada is going to get out of there rather than get uh, hit. So, again, good maneuvers here and counter maneuvers by both leaderships over here. All right, 21 minutes. The Union has to pick up this pace here. See, now we got 5th Corps possibly getting into a fight here with who is this down here? Is this John? No, this is GameBot again. I'll have to find HL. I'm not sure where they went. Where are you, HL? You in the center? It's 13th Georgia and JB making sure that they don't sneak onto the point, which is wise. Where is HL? How did I lose you? Are they down here with these guys? Oh, they're down here with these guys. Okay. They were there the whole time. Uh, where's the action? Where's the action? Where are we going to be? All right. We'll zoom out here as I try to find the action. So right now, oh, there's the action. And once more, LFL is finding the uh, 6 Alabama. Uh, frankly, I, I, I think these attacks against LFL are really helping the Union out right now. You've seen how well LFL has been able to hold these attacks. Um, I'm not quite sure why the CSA is launching them, to be honest with you. I think you're just feeding them tickets. So now we've got 20th has maneuvered up here to try to get onto the flank here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I still think that CSD Union needs to be more aggressive here with these units that have gotten into the uh, into the uh, backfield here. And maybe we're starting to see it here on Austin moving up. I mean, I would try to outflank this unit right here and wipe them if you can. And link up with your buddies. Kind of cause the cascade effect. Oh man, look at right yeah, uh, Southeast, I believe that's a line right there, right? All behind the rock. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm on the rock, boys. Hold, wait, wait, see what. What's your L5C soap? Ah, you should do something about that. On the line. On the line. On the line. Kind of a weird angle for me. And fire! I wasn't back loaded. Cover. Back behind 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 cover. Back yeah, that charge was silly. I'm sorry, 6LA. I don't know why he did that. All right, so now let's zoom out here. Whoop, out we go. All right, so you can see that the Union has basically formed a semicircle around here along the point. Now, there is a threat from GameBot and the 6AL over there. Um, they have a strong point on point, and then they have their main striking force over here, so... Um, we'll see what the Union does. They're in a pretty good position, I'd say. I, I, I just... They've been hesitant to exploit it, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to shoot out enough tickets to really make it worth and They're going to lose time, so... I think right now the CSA is in a great position to win this match. I heard you got whiskey in there. Get him, Dyer. Is that an attack developing over here? Get into the rocks. That is, there we go. This is what I want to see, and it is Canada doing the attack. He needs more help, though. This should have been a lot easier. There are Union elements to support, but they are nowhere near to support. 
So I... Well, here comes Famas. He's moving up here, but he has Gamebot behind him. But Famas is moving up now. But now you see that there's a few CSA left over that they didn't uh, because they didn't go in together. Um, there's a little bit left over, but the LFL will succeed there, and they will be joined by the 10th Tennessee. Now we have another attack here by Austin Awo. I like this as a spoiler against the HL to delay. Well, the A and V and HL. They're not going to survive, but. Um, this flag needs to not stay here. That needs to go to friendlies right now. It needs to go over there. Snow cactus, go. Run. Be free. But what I like here is these guys are delaying them. They're stacking them up so these guys can get reconsolidated here. And because they delayed that, there was an attack here by 6AL. But it was a little bit delayed, so these guys didn't get into that fight. So again, this element was able to wipe out the 6AL that charged him by itself. And we can see the tickets now are much more even. CSA is still slightly ahead, although the Union might cap here. Which, would I cap here? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'd have to think about this some more. I'm not opposed to it. Here comes Killer, though. Killer doesn't want to give him a chance. Oh, they're pulling off. Who's pulling off here? Oh, Elfell, I don't agree with that. Don't abandon your friends. Union now are taking losses. And Elfell has left their friends. We're going to have to face Killer alone. Oh, I don't agree with that, guys. Especially since the Union capped here. It's not going to matter much. The CSA won't really get much of a, uh, a bonus here. But... Um, yeah, I don't agree with that. The, but the problem is, the reason I say that is, all the CSA flags are going to be able to come back up now, and the Union has lost several. So all that advantage that you just had by knocking down all those CSA flags is now gone. So I don't agree with consolidating. I mean, if you want to pull off a little bit and reconsolidate, maybe. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think that was a mistake by the LFL there. I mean, you can come back in now, but now you're coming in, you know, single file here. If you had stayed there and fought to begin with. They're likely going to get defeated in detail here. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm all, I'm all. Until you secure in that position, don't leave. And that position was nowhere near secure. You know, these are a lot of out-of-line tickets that the uh, Union is now feeding into the CSA. And you can see that they had a uh, were catching up, but now they're starting to lose it again. And now the Union's the one without flags. So it's a complete reverse of the situation that was there. Now they got not only have to spawn over there, but they have to spawn without flags. And it's going to be very hard to retake them from on point. Now they did get their flag out, but if the CSA was smart, they'd charge out the LFL right now. And if LFL was smart, they would displace. And Famas is smart, so he is going to displace. We got him. We got him. Yeah. Yeah. During the press key, they're in charge. Although we do have a very advanced element out here. Who is this? Gamebot is very aggressive, man. Um, he is he is going for it. He is going to try to intercept some units in the corn um, to try to disrupt them more. You got LFL moving down this way, which, you know, kind of restart your attack from down there is not a bad idea. The problem is the CSA can just sit right up here and camp your flags. You're not going to attack them. They're just going to waste time. Wasting time is good as a defender. That's what you want to do. Uh, 
don't work. I don't know but the like difference. The and then we keep fighting. No, the gas the station, power. convenience oh, store. Yeah. Never been oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> oh, to oh my God, there's rub and tug. Chinatown's right next to me. I could, I could take you to at least three rub and tugs and not even have to. Fire drill. Bastards, come back, come back and get fight, bitches. Nice little ambush there by Gamebot. Fuck you, rebels! Fuck you, Fuck you, bitch. You, bitch. you smell like dog shit. You smell like literal dog shit, dude. Ah. So 6AL will uh will lose there, but they did drag off most of fifth core and knocked out most of them. We have a small element up here between the Georgia's kind of poking out here. And they are trying to get their flag back. That is a good decision there if they can actually succeed at it. Almost. Snap, why'd you kill him? Oh, he asked for it, man. Every oh, person running to grab a flag is a five to kill, boys. It's funny if you kill away. somebody. Yank is not with Yank is not You see how much the CSA is now consolidated on point. Um, a to keep the Union flags down, so they can keep keep up a good amount of fire here, and the Union will not be able to fight them in a, uh, Shoot them, boys. In a shooting match. They're going to lose. They do not have their flags, so the CSA is well positioned for this at the moment. Of course, Hamden Scott and I never had a doubt. Hey, can, can, can you lift up your sight on your muskets in this game? I think you can, but I rebound that button to my bayonet. Hi guys. Uh, this is my friend. Hello. Is this killer over here? Yep, so killer has now d done a wide flank maneuver, and I think he's going to try to roll up this Union element over here, which I think will be a very, very good maneuver here. We'll see if he can pull it off. I got that guy. No, I got that guy. At the sprint, Envy, at the sprint! Charge him out, charge him out, charge him out, charge him out, charge him out! Watch out, light him up, light him up! Clear the fence, clear the fence, clear the fence! Stop and go, stop and go, stop and go! And you can see how devastating that attack from the A and V was, and how quickly they overwhelmed that element on the fence there. Now there's a turnaround force here, LFL. Now, I don't know why A and V took the flag with them. They should have left that with friendlies, but, um... I think they got a little bit too greedy there. They should have, uh, exfilled back here and reorganized for it. But, um... You know. They've got the, uh... Well, I don't know. They lost a lot of tickets in that maneuver. That might not have been worth it. And then, here comes GameBot. The problem is you got that flag with you, so you're visible. They're going to try to go in. We'll see if they can make it work here. If they can win, they'll be heroes. If they lose, um, they'll be a, uh, I don't know, half a hero? Six inch? I don't know. You flag's dead, boy. Sorry, I your dog shit! Your dog shit! Come here, boy! And they will succeed! So it worked out well! Now they've knocked down the flags, and that charge by the 6AL has really put a hurt on the Union, who is now close to breaking here. Are they on the way, though? I think they're not anymore. He's dead! Man, it is too quiet. I don't like They're this. getting ready to charge, I think. They're peeking yeah, out. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to volley. They're trying to volley. Stay down. Stay! Oh, shit. I have the 53. The Yanks are close on northwest north. <laughs> it's because, it's because it's of all that all damn flag, happening. man. So. It can take. Um, Check. Check. We're going to run him out of time. Stay in cover.
Behind us, behind us. Behind us. Behind us. Behind us. Behind Fall back, 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 back. East, 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 east. Sprint. Shoot and sprint. Shoot and sprint. Shoot and sprint. That worked out. You know, I've been kind of down on these backfields, but they've actually been working pretty right, well here for the uh, the A and V and disrupting the Union attacks here, keeping them off base. So, you know, they've actually been working pretty well. Loud them up. Do not aim open low, over, boys. Aim low. Aim low. Do aim low. Them aim them low. Y'all can put them in breaking right here. Shoot their shins. Shoot their shins. Beat the valleys. Beat the valleys. They're about to get their loads in about five oh. seconds. Be ready. Oh. Friendlies are coming. Shoot their shins. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get oh, cover and fire. The 20th charge is moving across. Yeah, back, 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 back. yeah, back. Holy fuck, why are you dying from one hit? What's happening? Right in the corner. You can't no, this is what I call an Alamo. Yes. Well, we're gonna win an this Alamo time. is pea meal bacon. Family. I thought it was a car rental company. Stop, stop shooting. Pea meal bacon and quail eggs. Hey, hey, hey. That's AV, guys. That's AV. Somebody get out the gravy. I'm not going to lie. Gentlemen, prepare yourselves. They're coming. Load hold. Load hold. HL. Load hold. Load hold. Load and hold. Load and hold. Load and hold. Hostile. Sure I've ever stayed alive for so long oh, in the game. Oh, they're coming! Oh, shit, they're coming! Brace north, brace north, brace, brace, brace. There's something left and right here to move. Get us the flag bears. Boys, on me, come on. Boys, on me, let's go, let's go. We're going back to fair, we take these rocks, boys. Come on, let's go. Come on, Hopkins. That was a good attack, but it wasn't fully committed. It comes from us. Again, I, I, these attacks are a little bit disjointed. They are a little bit more jointed. They would have a little bit more uh, luck to them. They need to go in at the same time. Like this one's got a little bit of the same time thing going on here. Gannon's going in, but he lost a lot of men with it. Yep, now here comes A and V. He's, Killer's going to shut the door on this. It's hard to do because they don't have Steam Chat. They have to rely on messengers, so it's not easy to coordinate these attacks at all. But um, if you don't, you see what happens. So you're going to have to figure out systems to do so. And there are multiple ways to communicate. Reform on me. Reform. Reform. On the half storm wall. On the half storm wall. Here, boys. Up and over. Shoot them. Uh, 6 AL cut off the retreat of these elements here. Nice positioning by them. Bye bye. E -e. Southwest. No, Southwest. That's friendly. <laughs> friendly. And camp the flags. Don't let them get them back. We're in a habit of just leaving the flags here and letting them recover them. 
That is a mistake. They have an element camping this right now. Maybe behind those rocks right there. Mm, yeah, I, I, I do see that. Hmm. I love meat. Fuck it. Stirs. Everybody shit. else. Stirs! No, 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 no. Run, uh, bootstrapper, run! Uh, <laughs> thank God. Two cleans down! Uh oh. Prepare yourself. Got another maneuver here by LFL. They're gonna try to get behind, but it looks like they got spotted here. Oh, You will not win this. Come back, you're going to die tired! Oh damn, you're pretty slick. Come back here, someone get it! Keep it camp, but get ready to break I want everybody behind my ass. The eye right. John. Oh my. Whoa, okay. Oh, my John, boys. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Move on, John. Forward, John. Let's go. On Gene, on Gene, on Gene. On Gene. On this line. On the line. Turn the line. Take hey. it. Cut the grass. Fire! Load where you stand. Load where you stand. Load where you stand. Load, where you stand. Load in place, boys. <laughs> There's a guy with binos there. Yeah. Him out. <laughs> Looking <laughs> like if you crouch, it's gonna take longer for people to respawn. Yeah, I just crouch for a I'm Check. It's okay, boys. It's okay. You're gonna die. Check. Take aim. Cut the grass. Take aim, cut the grass. Fire! Has anyone else seen his gun pointing About straight face. up? Get that flag, get that flag. Take out that flag, I'll get the flag. Okay. Good. I was about to grab it, I don't have a bucket ball left, I'm useless. HL, hold on. Come on, Hampton. Prepare to receive a charge. Prepare to receive a charge, Hampton. Break load, T-man, break load. I am, I am. They're up and over. Oh, they're all bad? Hey, we're friendly, friendly, friendly. Again, boys, in the corn, HL, in the corn. Turn around, boys. No sharpshooters. I don't really have much to say because it's, uh, you know, just more of the same, really. Good consolidated defense by the uh, CSA. Union's attacks are a little bit too destroying it to uh, work. It's hard to get the timing down. It's It's not easy at all. Um, but, um, fortunately, that's what you need to do. I hate to tell you, but you, you need to be concentrated as an attacking force. You can't go in pell-mell. Anyway, that's it for map one. We got one more for this evening. I'm um, looking forward to it, and I hope to see you all in it.